everybody and welcome to Texas for round 7 of the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series Season 6. We are getting ready for 34 laps around the Great American Speedway. Uh, yes, this is Texas. Starting on the pole is the 43 of Kurt Keselowski and second is T.O. Bain in the 99 car. Starting third is Phil Jones in the 31 who's had a very... Uh, rough season up to this point sitting 30th in the standings starting fourth is michael shelton and rounding out your top five is joseph clark in the 41 car so let's get these cars rolling for you here's the command right on. Start Kurt Kozlowski leads the field down. And here we go. The field has now just completed rolling off just about now. So let's get you back to the front where Kurt Kozlowski is going to try to capture his third career win. Now both of, the, both of his career wins have come on super speedways. And tonight's race is going to be a lot like a super speedway race. Even though it is only a mile and a half long, we are going to see some nose-to-tail racing, possibly some two-car tandems. But nothing, uh, nothing near Daytona where you're going to push somebody out way into the lead and stuff. But you're going to see some pushing and shoving going around, and that's what caused all the crashes that we saw in practice. Coming through three and four, though, Kurt Kozlowski is going to lead us to the green flag. Coming into this race, Kurt sits in the 35th position in the points. T.O. Bain comes in in 24th. And uh, believe it or not, we're approaching halfway of their regular season. Because once we hit race 20, that is the last race before the chase. Race 21 through 25 is the chase uh, this season. But, but the green flag waves. Kurt Kozlowski is going to lead him down. Wow, Kurt got a great jump, and they're already three wide for the third position. On the outside, that's Michael Shelton in the 25. Oh, man, that really got close coming off of the corner. And Carter Kozlowski goes to the bottom with Dylan Young tucked up behind him. Eric Burton being pushed by Chris Summers. Coming out of turn number four. First lap is going to be led by Kurt Kozlowski. T.O. Bain is right there. Now he's going to get the lead. And Joseph Clark is pushing him. Now he goes to the bottom of the track. So Joseph Clark is going to take over the lead. Seth Cole shoving the back bumper of that 41. And we have a caution. We just saw the caution lights, and it's Kyle Smith last in points. Oh, we got a big crash in the point leader. Garrett Jones is in it. Drew Austin is upside down. And oh, more trouble under caution. Dylan Young gets crashed. And now Kurt Kozlowski gets some damage. He was your pole sitter. And we got to see who else was involved. Oh, wow, this was a lot bigger than I thought. Sean Galligan, Julie Stewart, Joseph Bryant, Brandon Bain, Andrew Schwartz. Richard Johnson, Drew Austin, Stephen Dillon, Anthony Emery. Wow. Many, many cars are in this and 10 is doing something. Okay. Let's get you a replay. All right. The, this, and, uh, this was a bunch of crashes all at once. Four wide. That turns them around. And Kyle Smith and Julie Stewart pinch each other into the wall. They all start to spin. There's Henley. Oh, Henley got severely involved. He slapped at the inside wall extremely hard. And I'm sure somebody spun up into traffic. And oh, man, Drew Austin apparently volunteered to do that. And uh, let's see. Get a replay of this. Uh, oh, that was. Oh, it looks like that was something different. Yeah. Oh. Some vicious crashes early. Oh, Richard Johnson. That was the driver's door. Garrett Jones into the back of Brandon Bain. They finished 1-2 at Darlington. Obviously not going to have the same result tonight. 
Garrett Jones was the fastest man in practice, and unfortunately that's not how it's going to end here at Texas for the number 11 team, the point leader. And now, what happened under caution? Now, I saw Dylan Young and Cole Fralick make some contact. What was that all about? Oh. Oh, ooh, that was a hard hit. Dylan Young actually took a pretty big lick into that outside wall, and then he just kissed that inside wall, so... Uh oh, oh, Jordan Apolito, Jack Richards, Sean Henley, Zach Buchanan all get jacked up a bit. Got up off the ground, and uh, a few other car cars come in pretty fast, and everybody's uh, letting each other know that that's their position. And, uh, wow, <laughs> a very crazy way to start this race, and a bunch of cars are involved. Let's hope everybody's okay. Let's get you back to the restart. All right, we're going to get this set for you. Getting, for the, getting ready for the restart. T.O. Bain is your leader, followed by Seth Cole second, third is Cole Fralick, fourth is Carter Kozlowski, fifth is Kurt Kozlowski, sixth, Eric Burton, seventh, Danny Wells, eighth, Chris Summers, ninth, Jeffrey Fingy, and tenth is Jacob Stump. Eleventh, Courtney Simpson, twelfth, Dion Petty, thirteenth, Michael Shelton, fourteenth, C.J. Sorensen, and fifteenth is John Dillon. Now what I'm going to do is, it seems like everybody is, most people are commenting, so I'm just going to kind of see, really, if you're not commenting regularly, then I'm going to take you out, but I mean, if you comment, you know, two or three every five races, I'll keep you in, so that's, that's going to be the new policy, so I don't have to uh, worry about exactly three races every five, so that's just how this is going to work now, so T.O. Bain is going to lead us back to the restart, Seth Cole really struggling in the points. 38th. This is what he needs is to run this good. Along with the Kozlowskis. Carter Kozlowski his best finish has been 19th and he's done that three times. Carter finished in the 19th position back at Auto Club Darlington and at Hartlepool. So here we go coming back down to take the restart. Steven Dillon in the number 5 on the inside he is one lap down as we come back down to receive the green flag. We're back underway in Texas. Might have been Cole Freilich. Yeah, he got damaged and he is dropping like a rock down the back stretch. Here are two teammates. We saw a bunch of Roush cars hit the outside wall that hardly pulled very hard last week. Oh, this is a log jam back here. Look out there, they go hard into the outside wall. And oh, Phil Jones. Oh, that was a vicious crash. And more cars flipping down the banking. Seth Cole, oh, Kurt Kozlowski just got dumped by Carter. Carter Kozlowski wrecks Kurt under caution. But the pace car is out, and I believe T.O. Bain won it back. Never mind. Did Carter Kozlowski win this back? No. What? Who won the race back to the start finish line? I know there was a crash. Did the leader get in that? Oh, there he is, Seth Cole. Seth Cole won the race back to the start finish line, so let's get you a replay. All right, here it is. Heading into turn number three, Buchanan and Greg Jones are in the middle. Buchanan gets to the left of Greg, turns him, just clips John Dillon enough to send him hard into that outside wall. And then look at all these guys, airborne, just up in the air, crazy. Look at Joseph Bryant. Flipping down the banking, along with the new driver in the 44, that being Jeremy Balkan. But man, I gotta see that Phil Jones crash again. Look how hard he hit into this outside wall. Such a vicious crash by that number 31. He was, I mean, obviously all these guys really hit hard, but also Phil Jones. This had, oh, just a head-on impact. Extremely hard into that outside wall. So Phil Jones obviously has taken a very hard hit here at Texas along with many others. And there's the two Gibbs boys. All three Gibbs drivers have run into trouble today. Not the night uh, coach wanted. So Seth Cole is going to lead us back to the restart. Let's get to it. We will restart on lap 12 of 34 with Seth Cole out front followed by T.O. Bain second. Kurt Kozlowski third. Eric Burton fourth. And Carter Kozlowski fifth. 
Sixth is going to be Danny Wells. Seventh, Jeffrey Finge. Eighth, Chris Summers. Ninth, Cole Freilich. And tenth will be Jacob Stump. And uh, Kurt Kozlowski sitting third. That is probably going to be a big issue for uh, fourth on back, really. He's got a lot of damage. 26 cards remain in the field after a bunch of damage to pretty much everybody from about 15th on down, I would think. Oh, I guess really only a... I guess really from like Brandon Bain on down. Everybody else is in pretty good condition. So coming back to the restart, Seth Cole, this is what he needs to do. Over in the NNSCRA, he runs that uh, Snickers Cup Series, the Oreo Truck Series, and the Mobile One Cup Series. And they just wrapped up the uh, Wrangler Race Weekend. So uh, obviously Seth Cole has a lot of uh, well he's done a lot of stuff with Texas lately. <laughs> uh, here we go, coming back down to the restart. Seth Cole and T.O. Bain are going to lead him down. We are back underway. Yeah, Kurt Keselowski. Yeah, yeah, he just moved out of the way because he knew that he'd be holding them up. And now Carter's going to make it three wide. That's going to put him into the third position. And right to the bumper of T.O. Bain. Look at the run Jeffrey Fingy and Danny Wells got. They're pushing each other down the back straight away. And Seth Cole is liking this. Roush boys almost wrecked each other. Uh oh, Jeffrey Fingy. Yeah, that was close. And we are still green. One lap after the restart, but I just saw T.O. Bain and Kurt Kozlowski through the grass. I see T.O. and Kurt is holding up this entire line of cars. And it's about trouble for Jack Richards, and he somehow kept it off the wall, but now he merges back onto the track, and he still keeps it together. Wow, unbelievable job. Now Danny Wells has taken over the lead in the 17. Chris Summers, second in points coming into this race. Uh, 15 points behind Garrett Jones. Garrett is out of the race, which is probably going to put Chris Summers back into the point lead that he was so used to back in season number two. Let's check, there's Julie Stewart, Zach Buchanan, Matthew McMurray, Brandon Bain, Dylan Young, all pretty well off the pace, and Kurt Kozlowski is about to join them. They all have some uh, pretty uh, severe contact, or some severe damage. Coming off of turn number four, the speeds are absolutely <laughs> ridiculous into turn one of Texas. 214 miles an hour in a mile and a half racetrack. So obviously a very quick Texas Motor Speedway as we are under the lights prime time here for the uh, Samsung Mobile 500. Courtney Simpson, Chris Summers and Courtney Simpson obviously had a great battle back at Cam Valley which obviously ended up uh, being won by the 48 car of Chris Summers. And uh, Courtney was a little disappointed she wasn't able to get that win, but she was still satisfied with that second place uh, to help her out in the points. So we got some very uh, tight racing going on here, but the Ford is right now out front, that being Danny Wells, and now his teammate Courtney Simpson is going to take over second as we have reached halfway here at Texas. Coming through one and two, it's Danny Wells, Courtney Simpson, and Dion Petty, your front three. Seth Cole alongside Dion. That is for the third spot. This, this is a lot like the Hartley Pool race last week. Two big crashes to open up the race, and then from there, it looks like we're probably going to go caution free. We don't have any cars left, and oh, we just ran up on lap traffic. Michael Nemechek, Summers to the outside, four wide in the turn. Jacob Stump, Carter Kozlowski, and Eric Burton hit hard. And over on his lid goes the 29. Carter Kozlowski is done. Oh, Dion to the apron. Michael Nemechek, that was not a wise move right there. He just held up the field and wrecked them. I jinxed it. I said they would go caution free from the second wreck to uh, the finish. Obviously not going to happen as we have our second or our third caution of the race, I believe. Let's get you a replay. 
All right, here it is, Jacob Stump. And all these guys were really pinching each other in, trying to get around the lapped car. And Jacob came down on Carter, and then, oh! Never a sight you want to see. Oh, wow, Jordan Apolito, fourth in points. Just snuck through that. And as Jacob Stump rides his lid down the back straight away, unfortunately, uh, some pretty severe, or some uh, pretty heavy contact was made in this crash, including Jacob Stump going over on his lid. Carter Kozlowski is done for the day, done for the night, I should say. And a bunch of other drivers are going to be very disappointed with this run here tonight. But uh, what else can you really do here at Texas? Obviously, very high speeds and a lot of nose-to-tail racing. I guess it's just one of those racing deals. So, let's get you back to the restart. All right, we are going to restart on lap 24 of 34. So, we're going to restart with 11 to go here. So, we still have our lapped cars lined up on the inside. The only lapped car we have is the double zero of Michael Dimacek, who brought out that most recent caution. We didn't bring out the caution, but he caused the caution. <laughs> Seth Cole is going to be the leader, followed by Danny Wells second, Courtney Simpson third, Chris Summers fourth, and Dion Petty in the fifth spot. Sixth, Jeffrey Fingy seventh, CJ Sorensen eighth, Jordan Napolito ninth, Jack Richards in tenth, is Devin Hargett eleventh, Sean Henley twelfth, Cole Freilich thirteenth, Charles Jackson fourteenth, Jordan Balkin fifteenth, T.O. Bain sixteenth, Dylan Young seventeenth, Matthew McMurray eighteenth, Brandon Bain nineteenth, Kurt Kozlowski in twentieth, is Zach Buchanan. 21st is Julie Stewart, and 22nd is Michael Shelton, with 23rd being Michael Nemechek. He is one lap down in the double zero car. As we come through turns three and four for the restart, Seth Cole has had such a good car all night. He and Danny Wells have led a majority of the laps. Kurt Kozlowski and Joseph Clark led early, but they have the, uh, fallen back. But here we go, coming out of turn number four, Seth Cole is going to lead us back to the restart with 11 laps to go at Texas. Here we go, the field in hands of Seth. Green flag back in the air, we're racing again at Texas. Looks like everybody's gonna get around the double zero just fine, but CJ made a look to the ins uh, to the middle. <laughs> wow, Michael Nemechek falling like a rock. And that's what he needs to do right now. He causes another crash, I think he might just be set on probation. Holding up the leaders and crashing a few guys, uh, not something you want to do here in the EPRL Bass Pro Shops Cup Series, and it looks like he's probably going to get out of the way. But now Danny Wells is going to go to the bottom of the track to take the lead. Courtney Simpson shoving the heck, of the, the heck out of that 17, pushes him out to the lead, but now here comes Courtney to the bottom. Three wide behind them, Dion Petty in the middle. Ten to go, coming to nine. Nine laps to go at Texas. Here comes CJ. CJ with a big head of momentum. That doesn't make sense. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can't say it. Courtney Simpson leads the field, trying to score her third career win. Believe it or not, it has been now 43 races since Courtney Simpson has last won a race. <laughs> Anyways, Danny Wells now makes a look to the bottom. Danny's going to go for the lead coming down the back stretch. CJ Sorensen. CJ trying to make a look, and he's going to get shut down. Look at Chris Summers. Oh, he's going to get into a pole of toe. Somehow they did not wreck. Don't know how they didn't, but somehow they uh, did. Seven laps to go here at Texas. Any of these guys still have a shot. Any guys or gals, if you want to consider Courtney Simpson a contender. Here comes Seth Cole and Devin Hargett. Devin has had a very good season, and we haven't talked about him much. But he has really had a strong season in that number two car. And uh, he's having an extremely good rookie season. Obviously, uh, Roger Penske, very pleased with the performance of that number two car. But now we have just six laps to go, and now about five and a half. Danny Wells leads the field. He's had such a strong car all night. 
And remember, up to last week at Hartlepool, it was a Chevy winning the first five races. Now he had a Dodge win, and now we might see a Ford go to victory lane in Danny Wells. Let's check for lap traffic. Oh, no. Michael Nemechek. We are closing in on Michael. Jeffrey Fingy tries to make a look to the bottom of CJ. CJ's going to put the block on him. I think Fingy kind of put that block on himself. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Could this be Atlanta all over again? Look out. Here they come up on him. Danny Wells is going to get held up. Jeffrey Fingy, all these guys co come in and close in on the leader of Danny Wells. Three wide, including the lap cars. Apollo Toe and Summers get a big run. This could be trouble in three and four. Michael Nemechek's going to get spun out. Courtney Simpson spins. CJ's hard in the wall. Airborne. As he flips down the front straight away, that's going to end the race. And we have another first-time winner in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series. It's going to be Jeffrey Fingy. Going to go to Victory Lane at Texas. Jeffrey Fingy in the 07 car. He's had a pretty tough start, I believe. No, he's had a good start, sorry. He's 11th in the points. So obviously a pretty good uh, season for Jeffrey. And uh, yeah, every driver that has won is within the top nine in points, now the top 11, but I'm sure Jeffrey's going to be within the top nine. Oh, Courtney Simpson. Oh, no. Seth Cole. Seth had such a strong car, and I did not notice he was in this. Unfortunately, Seth Cole, Courtney Simpson have wrecked. Let's get you a replay of what happened to end this race. <laughs> wow, Seth Cole was one of the most obvious drivers in this. I don't know how I didn't see him. <laughs> All right, here it is. I mean, Michael Nemechek kind of had it coming, though. I will say that, but unfortunately, CJ gets into the back of him, and that just sends these guys extremely hard into that outside wall. And look at them all just flip over through the grass sliding and uh, that's what has put CJ so deep in the points he's 41st and obviously Michael Nemechek had that coming but at the same time you have to give the guy a room so CJ you can say that was part partially his fault but you got to say at the same time Michael Nemechek really shouldn't have uh, raced them like that he was a lapsed car, and he was running right in the preferred line. Let's get you another replay of this. Watch right there. Oh, wait a minute. I'm wondering if uh, Jeffrey Fingy might have had an issue coming out of turn four. I think Jeffrey got turned sideways, and he almost kept, he almost spun out. Look at this car again, Jeffrey Fingy. I think I saw him get loose coming off the final turn, actually some smoke. Yeah, look at this. Devin Hargett was tucked up so close behind that 07 that he turned him sideways, and there was smoke coming from that 07. That was how close he was to wrecking that car. And by saving it, he won the race. Wow, absolutely amazing. And now we are on that white flag lap. Let's get you the uh, top 10 finishing order going to be Jeffrey Fingy, Danny Wells, Devin Hargett, Jordan Apolito, and Chris Summers, your top five. Sean Henley, Cole Freilich, Charles Jackson, Jordan Balk, and Kurt Kozlowski, your top ten. And Oh yeah, we just said not uh, let's go for your top ten. So, I believe this is coming to the checkered. I don't think this is your uh, cooldown lap. If it is, I'm going to be very embarrassed. So here we go, coming down the back straight away uh, to receive, I believe, the checkered flag here at Texas. Jeffrey Fingy is going to score his first career win in his seventh career start here at Texas Motor Speedway. Here we go, coming through the final turn. It's going to be the third first-time winner in this season. It's going to be the sixth race that a Chevy has gone to victory lane in the first seven races. All right, this is coming to the checkered, so that's a good thing. And coming down to receive the checkered flag, Jeffrey Fingy is going to take his first uh, drive to victory lane. Fingy is going to win it at Texas. 
there's Julie Stewart. She didn't have a terrible run because if you finish this race, you had a decent finish. So here are your finishing results. 17 cars finished the race. Two wreck fests in a row. Hartley Pool and this race here at Texas. Actually, Hartley Pool wasn't a wreck fest. It was just two huge crashes. And then uh, pretty much wiped everybody out. So Jeffrey Fingy wins it. And we already went over your top 10. A uh, few notables, Zach Buchanan finished 15th after getting some damage. He comes into this race third in the points. Uh, Chris Summers and Garrett Jones are pretty much on a league of their own right now in the series. And uh, looks like Chris is actually going to be our new point leader considering he finished fifth and Garrett finished deep in the field in the 39th position. So yeah, 34 points of a loss for Garrett. Definitely going to hand that point lead over to Chris. I think he might fall to about fifth, but he's got that win. If he falls out of the top ten, he can always rely on a wild card, but you can only rely on that wild card if you have enough wins, and I don't know if one win is going to do it. So uh, seven races, seven different winners, three first-time winners, and six winners that drove Chevys, one that drove a Dodge. So what an exciting race here at Texas. Not the way we wanted to end it under caution. But uh, you're always going to have some of those races when you got a lot of drivers racing hard at the end of each of these races. And uh, obviously Jeffrey Fingy is going to come out on top of this one after having a great save that basically saved him the win. So the race is over here at Texas. We will see you all later in round number eight.